hello everyone this is hassan and it is our seventh video of our video series in our previous video we saw that how we can configure the basic setup for cookie consent and as i said before we have a very big problem in our basic setup today's video i will explain everything and i will show you how we can fix that problem so if i go to our website this is our website and this is the preview bit preview mode and right now we have all of the consent so that the marketing related tag as well as the facebook as well as the zfo related tag is perfectly firing here but if we don't have proper consent those tag will not be fired but here is a very big problem where is the problem i am showing the thing if i clear this thing from here and we are in our home page and if i clear the consent this way in the home page i have two very important tag one is here for config tag another one is facebook page view and when visitor visit the home page it is called landing page not only home page visitor when first time visit the page that page is called landing page for example a visitor is coming to my home page i'm reloading the page and i have cleared the consent cookie so that i can see the cookie consent pop up again and right now we don't have any consent and you see that there is no tag has fired and two tags supposed to fire but those two tag does didn't fire because of block by consent settings and if i come here and right now if i allow everything look here we are here and there is no tag related to facebook uh, page view and the for config which is responsible for page view for google analytics and facebook pixel and now if i allow it but right now we still don't see the tag which tag was supposed to fire but where is the problem actually when a visitor is visiting our website the first page the landing page is very important because landing page contain a lot of important information about the landing page as well as the customer journey if the landing page contain the page referral where the visitor coming from and it is it has a very good impact on how visitor is coming our website and different kind of channel grouping as well as the customer as well as the customer source medium and related thing so if we could not collect the information for first visit page that that cases it would be very big discrepancy in our data so we like if we like to collect the data because you see that if i clear everything here and if i clear the cookie from here now if i reload the pay reload the page again here or if i go to the preview mode again right now we don't have any consent again and if we check everything here this is the location and trigger where those two tag page view for facebook as well as page view for ga4 config trigger but right now we have already passed those location or those trigger and if we give consent from here right now actually there is no proper trigger to uh, trigger those tag again so those two tag there is no sense to fire after giving the consent in this page you see that everything is right now from here we have consent but we don't have proper trigger to triggering those two tag so to solve this problem we can use a use a ztm event the event name is cookie consent update those events coming from cookie bot if you use another cmp that cases you may find this kind of event maybe name can be different you need to check those things for another others kind of cmp so we can trigger our tag those to tag uh, using the cookie consent update event so we can copy this because we are getting this gtm event after cookie consent update so i'm copy the name and going to create another trigger from here clicking new then i'm giving the name cookie consent update and of course we need to select custom event and you can paste the name and save it and we can do the thing i am going back to google tag manager again and from here in the tags tab we can select those two tab, tab. 
this is the zf4 config as well as this is the facebook view uh, page view and we can click this icon to sense uh, trigger for both of the tags and here we need to select cookie consent update also and save it and right now you see that uh, we are not getting those two tags but if i again go to preview and if we click the cons cookie related to cookie consent this way and i'm right now of course we should see those two tags because we have proper consent you see and if i clear everything here and i have already cleared the consent cookie consent and right now if i reload the page and if you see that right now we don't have proper consent so we are not getting those two tags no tag has fired and now after visiting the page for example if i allow all right now and look what's happened here right now you see that after giving consent we are again firing those two tag this is zf4 and this is page view and we are successfully collecting the first visit page page view and for facebook also we are getting page view as well as uh, there is supposed to fire another tag this is here i think this is conversion linker so we can do same thing for conversion linker from here we can select conversion linker we can click it here and just we can click it individually and also add those trigger for conversion linker also so this is the versus cookie consent update sorry this one now it is perfectly fine and we have fixed the issue and right from now if a visitor come to our website and give the consent after giving the consent if we have proper consent that cases uh, we will we are right now we are able to collect the first page view information as well as others information from our page as well as same thing actually happen for other pages the page where we are we get the event instantly in the page load for example if we come here and if, if we go to a product page we will see same thing but i will be back here a bit later let's going back to my home page and there is a still a, another problem and i am showing how we can solve this problem right now again we we back in our home page and right now you see that the right now we see that both of the tag fired two times but it's supposed to fire one time this is because every time the cookie consent update firing and this tag fire this for this trigger also as well as it also firing from the default trigger here so how we can solve this issue we can solve this issue using a technique so i am going back to my website and here actually we need to check whether this is the first time cookie consent update actually we only need to fire those tag for first time cookie consent update not for second time or second best cookie consent update that means we only need to fire those two tag when the first time visitor uh, was visited our page actually in this location but not in this location and in this location so we need to actually modify our trigger to check whether this is first time cookie consent update we can do this using some javascript codes for example i am back to this website and right now i have proper consent and the cookie has been set in our browser the cookie name is cookie consent from here if we go if i inspect here and then if i go to console to write some javascript code and we can write some javascript code if you type document.cookie by typing this we will get all of the cookies which has been saved in our browser and here of course we should see our cookie consent related cookie this is you can see that and in this list we can easily say whether this actually this what is available in this long string it is very easy just document cookie okay then there is a nice function in javascript includes and we need to put the word which we are looking for actually we are looking for consent this way now of course it will be true but if we clear the cookie from here 
and reload our page again and if we type that good you see this is returning false so this way we can check whether this is first time cookie consent update or second time cookie consent update so for first time cookie consent update when the website is loading of course the cookie will not be available in our browser after giving or allowing this we will get the cookie and of course we need to save this information somewhere in our browser but after updating uh, the consent this value will be changed if we show the thing if i right now and if we allow the thing and if i again check this is true so we need to get the value actually this value when visitor time when visitor visited the website we should not get this value from after given consent so make that thing clear i have created a slide i am going back to there a bit later but right now we need to copy this code and uh, create a text so that we can insert the code in this website and collect this information so if we like to save this information in our browser how we can do this we can use this information and we can actually insert this information with window object window dot for example as consent cookie this way and if we check here right now of course it should be true but if again clear this information from here as well as here and reload the page and if we reload the thing and paste it here and if we check here of course the value should be false you see that the value is false and if i allow the thing and check the value again it is still false but this value is sense if we check this value this is true to, and to make the thing clear to you i have created a slide if i going back to my slide you see that right now we are in here this is the first time visit and this position of course no cookie consent cookie available in our browser and if we check this of course it will return false and we are actually uh, inserting this value or saving this value in window variable and this is the false but if you look that then actually we show cookie consent banner to visitor then we collect the consent and then we save that information in visitor browser this way then we update consent and then we fire a tag called cookie consent update this position and this cookie consent update actually getting uh, the cookie this is just actually the cookie consent cookie available and of course in right now this position if we check the cookie consent include will be true but because we have saved this information in this stage the stage is when page was loading so this value will not be sense and this is always false right now and this is the value and we have given consent and right now if we go to a internal page here you see that of course this case this value is true so we if we like to check whether this is first time cookie consent or second time or next time cookie consent that case is we need to use this value and we have to check whether the window dot has cookie consent value is false if this value is false we can say that this is first time cookie consent update so i'm going back to our google tag manager and creating a new tag to insert this code so from the google tag manager we can create new button to create new tag and i can give a name check consent cookie or anything and from here of course we need to select the html and we are going to type write javascript so we need um, javascript code here and we can paste it here and from the triggering of course we need to select a trigger the trigger which happened very beginning the consent initialization is perfectly fine and this is the check consent cookie and this will return the value and save it and of course we need to pull this value so i'm using a variable so i'm going to variable step from the variable tab we can create another variable name has consent cookie 
and we can use that variable this is our file script variable and this is the global variable we can paste the value here and we can save it and right now if you if i preview the thing and look how the thing is working so i'm going to preview again and if i clear the cookie from here and i'm also clearing the thing and right now we don't have any consent everything is clear right now we don't have consent and if we check our variable here or somewhere our variable name watch has cookie consent and see this is false and if we give consent now allow all and we will get a gtm event this is the cookie consent update and you see that it is still false but if we go to another page for example any other internal page and in this position if we check where the consent update here you see that right now the value has sense and it is true so for first time this value first time cookie consent update the value will be false and next time it will be changed to true so we can it was apply another this condition to our trigger to make sure that this is first time cookie concern update so i am going back to our trigger and from here our trigger was cookie concern update we can change it this way cookie concern update to first time cookie concern update and we need to change it this way some event and here we need to choose our created variable has cookie concern cookie equal false and fine and right now again if we go to preview and clear consent here clearing everything and reload the page so that it is something like we are first time visiting this website we see this is the cookie consent banner and we, there is no tag there is only two tests which is for cookie bot and another is a cookie consent cookie and right now if i allow all see that our tag has fired those tag has fired from here cookie consent update here and our tag was blocked in this location due to a lack of consent and if i go to another page or internal page and if we check it right now you see that this tag also fired one time this tag has fired in this location but if we check the cookie consent update the tag has not fired you see that because if we check the thing because it is not first time cookie consent update this is value is true but we need false so i hope it, it makes sense but we need to do same thing for other spaces where we get automatically the event for page view for example if we go to our category page right now this is we are in category page and this page actually we need to do same thing because if we if a visitor first time visit this category page for example this is the laptop category page here and if i clear the thing and if we reload the page again right now we don't have any consent and no tag has fired but uh, you see that view item list the tag view tag should fire here view item list as well as we can we are getting two time view item list but we are if we allow of course we will get the ga4 config and facebook page view but we are still missing view item list so we have to trigger those view item list even for first time cookie consent update also as well as we need to do same thing for uh, our single piece view item event as well as we also need to do for every phase where we get uh, the event automatically after page load for example view cut once we go to the view cut phase we get view cut event as well as same thing happened for our begin checkout page 
so we need to do same thing for uh, every pages every event where we get uh, the event automatically without any interaction so let's do that thing so i am coming back here and then this is first time cookie consent update we can duplicate this by clicking here and from here we can copy it and we need to change the name first time cookie consent update let's we start from our category page category page from here actually we need to add another condition this condition is page path or base url we can choose anything we can choose base path and our required base path for category base if we go to any of the category base or this is website built with wordpress for wordpress case you uh, i see every category there is a common path the path name is product category maybe your case is the uh, link can be different and you need to take the thing and use that way so here we need to use this here and this page path when page path contain product dash dash, under, dash category that case it, it will be product page so i can save this thing and we need to do for our other pages the first time quick consent update category page and we can do this for single product page so just copy So we have successfully created all of our trigger and it is time to go to text so i'm going to text from here we need to change our trigger as our tag so we can select the view item list actually view item list has fired will fire on category page so we need to change it as category page this is the category page as well as we need to select view item as well as for our facebook view content and then we can click it here and we need to add our first time cookie consent update for product page this way and save it and we also need to select for our card page this is the view card and we need to do same thing for our card this is the card page first time cookie consent update and then we need to go and do this for begin checkout as well as initiate checkout for facebook and from here we need to change it exact same way this is the checkout page so we have successfully updated our tags and triggers now it is time to test so again if we go to our preview And I am directly going to our single product page. This is the single product page. And in this space, I am going to clear the cookie consent cookie so that we can we can do something so that we are something like first time visiting this space. And now in this space, we are expecting a couple of tag. One is a4 config, another one is Facebook page view, and another tag is view item. And right now we don't have any consent, so we don't see any tag, any of those tag. But if I keep consent for everything, and we are expecting, and we are getting all of the tags, you see that the a4 config, Facebook page view, as well as view content from Facebook and view item for GA4. So everything is perfectly fine so it is all for today and i know that this part is very confusing so i highly recommend to practice in your end if you try it yourself uh, everything will be clear to you and if you don't subscribe my channel you can subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly as well as i am going to record more video related to google analytics and google tag manager have a good day